Tourism officials are still very concerned about the fallout, especially with 70,000 fans headed to Indianapolis for the Final Four. Our City Beat reporter Mary Mills is live tonight on Mass Ave with how the city is working to assure everyone that they will get a warm welcome. Mary? And one of the things Visit Indy is doing is asking residents to become ambassadors to boast about their city with help from these sculptures. Besides taking pictures of the big bracket in front of the JW, Visit Indy hopes people take pictures in front of the three new Indy sculptures. Like these women did. When I drove by, I was like, where's the eye? And they were like, I think you have to be the eye. The goal to get people to share why they hashtag love Indy. We have a big eye. While Visit Indy planned the campaign over a year ago, Chris Gall says the timing couldn't be better with what's been going on across the street. Perception is reality, and right now there's a perception across the United States that we're not a welcoming city. Kara Schaefer, glad to take a picture and a stand. When I walked down here, I said I'm, I am sad that all of this is going on because people will miss out if they let that come in the way because Indy is beautiful. The sculptures were unveiled not long after the governor held a news conference promising clarification on the new law which the mayor says needs to happen quickly. I'm kind of a results guy. I want, I just, we need the thing done. We need something done. Like the mayor, Visit Indy hopes the fix includes adding sexual orientation and gender identity to the state's anti-discrimination law. We think it's paramount. Uh, certainly when you look at uh, uh, being inclusive and welcoming and, and uh, being a city that's internationally known and, in, and wants to be internationally known, uh, you need to be inclusive. But do it. Among those taking a shot alongside the sculpture, the fever is Tamika Catchings, who says she's heard an earful from friends. They're talking about, you know, we don't want to come to Indiana. I'm like, wait a minute now, you know, hold up. Indiana is actually a great place to be, especially being here in Indianapolis. Just, you know, the love that I've gotten and my family and, you know, the support that I've gotten has been amazing. And you don't have to weigh in on the debate. All you have to do is stand here, snap, and share why you love Indy. We're live on Mass Ave, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Well, the city of Fishers is now responding to the concerns over this new law. The mayor and city council will sign an inclusive city proclamation during a special council meeting tomorrow. They say they want to make it very clear that Fishers is open for business for everyone. You can read all the new developments today and all the previous stories that we've done on RFRA on WTHR.com. Be sure to look for the special section. You'll find it under Hot Topics.